Hi, my name's John. Welcome to yet another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I've got some different things going on than what I normally have. There's a little bit of machining, but not a great deal. What there is, is quite a lot of metal casting. Um, Michael comes down and gives us a hand, and we'll have another go at moulding the nameplate, the sander nameplate that we did last week, this week, with quite a bit more success. I show quite a lot of that. Got an update on Debs. Debs is doing well. She's been at work most of the week. She's put in quite a few more than eight hour shifts because the pubs is working in. It's not fully open yet, so they've been training and they've had guests in. But one thing is, you can tell her attitude. She might well be tired, but she is really, really enjoying being back at work, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Lately, I've had one or two messages in one or two emails from viewers saying, the sort of question I get is, John, a while ago you did a, you did some left-hand internal threading, or you did this, or you did that in one of your nightcaps, and I'm trying to find it. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I haven't got a record of what is actually in every nightcap, and there's a lot of them. So what I've started doing, I've started going back through them and changing the title. Instead of Sunday Night Nightcap, I'm just putting an abbreviation, SNNC, and then I'm putting, basically watching if there was mill work, welding work, casting, machining, basically what it was about, I'm putting in so you can go through and pop a picture on the front, you can actually see what, what's inside, what, you know, see what, the, what they contain. Um, people have suggested I do like an index because it's quite a lot of, there's quite a lot of practical explanations and demonstrations in some of the nightcaps and it's a shame that it's just called a nightcap with no no content. So I'm going to go through them all and put a, a, an abbreviated content of what's in them on the title of each of each video. After last week's field attempt with using green sand to try and mold this sign, I've decided to use a method using very fine sand in a chemical called sodium silicate. I've used sodium silicate before uh, for making cores it's simply mixing with the sand and it goes off in the presence of carbon dioxide gas. It's just a case of experimentation to see how much sodium silicate you need, but you've got to make sure that every grain of sand is coated. The sand's now become nice and fluffy and aerated. I must make sure I get Deb's mixer spin cleaned up before she gets home from work. Here I'm drilling holes into the inner core box. Through these holes I'm going to put a plastic line and that's where I'm going to inject the carbon dioxide. Parting powder is dusted across the top of the pattern. This is to stop the stand sticking and hopefully allow the pattern to come out easily. The sand I'm using is actually silica sand, it's a real fine sand that they put between the gaps in block paving. You can see here how it's, it's become nice and fluffy and aerated, being mixed up with the sodium silicate.
and all that, you know. Just a couple of months back. Vent tools are pushed through the sand to allow the gas to fully circulate. I'm using gas from an old carbon dioxide ferry extinguisher. Because I'm not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not getting left in until we need it out. Aye, aye. Put the box over inside the bus. Right, you know, I'm good. So it's all just hinging on that pattern coming out of that. Hard and sand, isn't it? It is, aye. You obviously rid of the, rid of the sand where it's going to be touching the pattern. Just to get the bits of, bits of brass and shape with it. I think you are good. No good, wouldn't it? <laughs> to try and get this over here. Cracked at that far end, John. Where? Where the S is. It's cracked here, I know. Mm. I'm going to go with it, like. Right there. Mm. Mm. Right, 
when your pixels are good or really good. Powdered graphite mixed with alcohol is sprayed on the top and bottom of the mould. This is set on fire. This has the effect of skin drying the mould and gives a casting a much finer finish. <laughs> I have to watch them corners, John, because it may blow a chunk with. Old brass plumbing fittings and scrap brass taps were used in this melt. That's why there's a lot of dross and scrap coming out of the melt. The nasty looking smoke and fumes you can see coming out of the molten metal is actually zinc. This is why I don't like casting brass, I much prefer to cast bronze, but obviously bronze is a lot more expensive. Ventules are pushed through the sand to allow the gas to fully circulate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 